YouTube, what's up? This your man, Big B Productions 100. Now check it out, you guys. I'm kind of in a rush tonight, but a female on YouTube that I just became friends with not too long ago asked me if I could put up a video on how to categorize different photos, videos, and music and stuff like that on your Mac. Now, with that being said, I hate when I look at YouTube videos and I see stuff with people, you know what I'm saying? It's like they got like all type of files and folders and stuff like that on their desktop. And it's like so cluttered and you can't find what you're looking for. So you got to go up to Spotlight or use some application like Alfred or something like that and get to type in what you want. I hate that. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do stuff. We're going to start by opening up your finder. You can do that by clicking on the left hand side here like I just did to open up a finder window. Now, I like to use a lot of commands when I'm doing something on my Mac. So for this command, we're going to use a command in to open up a new finder window. Now we're gonna take that left one that we just opened up and drag that to the left side and snap it to the grid. Now we're gonna drag this one to the right side. Now with that being done, all right, over here to the left hand side, devices, we have the hard drives. Now, external movies and music, that's one of my hard drives. We also have the Big B hard drive too, and we have the external HD and time machine. Now my time machine backup, that's a separate hard drive from everything. That's a 500 gig and I'm backing up everything on my Mac. Excuse me. All right, now, Big B Hard Drive 2. We're gonna click on that for the left side of the screen, the left finder window. Now, I have a ton of hard drives laying around my house because I like to back up everything I do. I mean, everything I do, I like to back up, you know, no matter what it is, because I don't want to lose anything on my Mac ever. So. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Everything you do with time machine, you got a time machine, back that hard drive up, back up everything. So with that being said, we got the hard drive too. Now we're gonna go into iTunes. Now we're gonna find the movies. There's my movies. Now, this is my hard drive that I have laying on my desk 24 seven with just music, movies, and photos and stuff like that. All right, now we're gonna go over here to the left side and we're gonna click on external movies and music. Now, you look here, external external movies and music, it's just one folder on this hard drive. You click on that one folder, open it up. Now we have TV shows, movies, music, music and iTunes. Cool, here's all the songs that I have inside my iTunes. All right, we're gonna to go to movies. All right, cool. Now this hard drive right here you're looking at on my Mac, stays hooked up to my iMac 24 7 along with my time machine backup hard drive i never unhook this it stays hooked up 24 7. now these movies that you're looking at right here are also streaming to my my apple tv in my living room through itunes now it's a way that you can go into itunes and you can sync it up from your hard drive so that you can shoot your movies all through your house and watch them in any room of the house with Apple TV. With that being said, if you want to learn how to do that, I actually have a video online on how to do that. So you can just go through my movies and go to how to sync movies from Plex or your hard drive and stream to your TV. In my video section, you can see that. So uh, that's pretty cool. So like I said, I got over a thousand movies here. I got 1,179 movies on my hard drive. That's going to my Apple TV in my living room through iTunes because I don't like to save hardly anything on my on my Mac. I don't I don't save anything. We're going to go to a Mac HD here. Mac HD, you see I have 373 gigabytes of space available out of 500. This is the 500 gig that came with this Mac and I have almost 400 gigs left because I only simply just use that space just for like applications and stuff like that. My movies and videos, I save everything on external hard drive. So, okay, cool. With that being said, you see we have today, yesterday, previous seven days, previous 30 days, and earlier. You can get this cool effect right here on your Mac or whatever. You can get this cool little setup or whatever you want to call it by going up to the top right here, right here. You see where my mouse is at? Okay, cool. And you can just click on the different boxes to get the style you're looking for. Now, the style that I tend to use is the first one because when you're looking at your movies, it's showing you what you have downloaded or installed on that hard drive for today. So if you look here today, I've downloaded The Mummy Returns 2001 movie, Blue Streak, Boom, Boomerang, Nothing to Lose, 
National Treasure, The Scorpion King 3. Okay, cool. Here we go. Actually, I didn't even watch this yet. I might watch this tomorrow. Okay, cool. And if you go down, it shows what I've downloaded yesterday. A good old-fashioned orgy. What's your number? A lonely place to die. Okay, that's it. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. And not only that, at the top, it shows how many vo I'm, views. <laughs> it shows how many movies. I'm sorry. I'm tongue twisted here. I'm trying to hurry up with this video. I'm so sorry. Okay, cool. Up here, it shows how many movies you have for the first list of movies, which is 11. So I've downloaded 11 movies today. Yesterday was three. And right here, the previous seven days, we have Half Baked, The Game, Hellraiser, 7, 8, 6, all the way down to 1. I, I tend to do a lot of download. Okay. Now we have that out of the way. So now you know how to get this, this cool effect or strolling list or whatever it is you want to call it the way I have it here. You know how to get it by going up to the top bar and clicking on the first box. The second box is pretty cool, too. It's kind of like a list of movies that go all the way down. Now, if you look here, you see I got everything color coordinated. I love that. Now, the way I tend to do a lot of my stuff, I'm still in the process of changing this stuff around because I got so many movies, but I like to keep my red for action, blue for like drama or something like that, and orange for like comedy and stuff like that. Now, you can do that by simply just right clicking on that file and go to label and choose the color that you want. So for the mummy return, I would say that's some mm, action. So let's just say if it was comedy or whatever, I can choose orange, go back. I could choose gray, you know, or whatever color you want. So I'm going to keep that red. I like to keep, well, I'm thinking about doing all my blue or purple or something like that for like horror. So like I said, I haven't quite got around to that yet because I got a lot of movies in here. But if you choose to use the second box, like the list, the one I'm using right now, you still get the date and all of that stuff that was modified and it shows you today, yesterday and previous seven days and all of that good stuff. So you can still get that. So this is just for my movies. And like I said, this is everything that's inside my iTunes. Now we're going to click on iTunes here just so I can show you guys. OK, cool. All right. Now, here's my iTunes. And. If you want to get your iTunes library to stream how I was showing you, I'm just going to show you anyway. Forget it. It's cool. You can go up to iTunes, go to preferences. After that, you can go right here where it says sharing and all of this good stuff. You got sharing. Click on sharing and it's going to ask you, would you like to share your library on your local network and all of that? So you can just check all this and, you know, check all that or whatever. Make sure you set a password because if you're doing anything wirelessly, you don't want your neighbors upstairs to, you know, try and sneak in on your hard drive or something like that while you sleep or whatever and try to steal some of your movies and music and stuff like that so you can do that by going to here and uh, also under uh general is it general hold on one second sharing uh, devices advanced okay cool here we go so this is you can go to sharing if you want to stream them to your apple tv and all of that good stuff you can share it you turn on your apple tv your Apple TV should automatically recognize it right away and ask you what you want to do. And you can just follow the on screen setup and stuff like that. OK, cool. Advance. Here we go. Go on to advance. Now, right here, when you go in here, this probably will be blank, most likely, or it might say Mac HD. Change that. So click on change and choose the hard drive that you want to use that's hooked up to your Mac. That's got all of your movies and music on it and click change and set it up. And it would be here. So your iTunes media folder location would be coming from that hard drive. So meaning anything you download off the Internet, when you download a movie, you can have that to save to your desktop. And then when that's saved to your desktop, take it and drag that file, drop it inside iTunes. Don't worry about nothing else after that, because once you drop it inside iTunes, it's going to automatically save to your external hard drive. So anytime you, you unplug your external hard drive, all of your movies and videos and photos or whatever you had inside iTunes is no longer on your Mac. Therefore, your hard drive that you have that's inside of your Mac Book Pro, your MacBook Air, your iMac, whatever it is you have, it's free. You have all that space to do whatever it is you want to do with it. So, like I said, once you finish that, make sure you click on Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized and Copy Files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to my library. Make sure both of those boxes are clicked. Once done, click OK. 
there you go. You can put three, four, five thousand movies in here if you have a hard drive that's terabytes instead of gigabytes. And trust me, you'll love it because I have 1,183 movies and that is a total of 65.2 days of watching and 712.7 gigabytes. So that's a lot of movies. I have my TV shows, everything. We're going to close that down. All right, we're going to close iTunes. So uh, I hope this video helped a lot of you guys out there that's got your new MacBook Pros, new MacBook Airs or whatever. And you're trying to figure out a way to keep it nice, clean, and organized. You know, I mean, you can have a lot of movies and videos, but I mean, just keep it, you know, organized. You know, keep it nice and neat and pretty looking. You don't want to have somebody come over your house and you trying to search for a movie and you got to go up to the search bar and all of this when you can just simply just say, okay, well, I downloaded that movie yesterday. So, okay, cool. Let me go to my labels. All right, cool. Here we go right here. I downloaded what's your number yesterday. All right, cool. Open it up. Mm, okay. This right here. Play. Simple as that. You know, instead of like you on your Mac and you're trying to, ah, oh, what's that movie? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Uh, what's the name of it? Oh, wow. What is the name of that movie I downloaded yesterday? Um, Is it called... The uh, the man, uh, wow, I can't find it. There's so many files popping up in my spotlight. What should I do? All of this crazy stuff. No, you don't have to do all that. You know, that's pointless. You can just go to that hard drive. You can just go inside your iTunes. Go to your movie or whatever. And find it. It'll be there. So, hey, like I said, uh, I hope this video helped a lot of you guys on YouTube that's been looking like everywhere trying to find a video on how to keep your desktop nice and neat and movies in order and photos and videos and all of that good stuff whatever it is I don't care if it's just your applications folder you know put that in order keep everything in order Big B like to keep everything in order I got my dock spaces down here I hate to have a dock with cluttered stuff just all bunched up together if you look to the left hand side we have like stuff dealing with you you know oh whoa I gotta fix that okay Sorry, got to gotta fix that. See, I just noticed something. See, you see that? It freaked me out for a second. <laughs> anyway, to the left-hand side, we got the Launchpad, App Store, and Finder. Anything dealing with applications and stuff like that stays to the left. Coming over to the right, we have Safari and Firefox, which is my web browsers. Another space. Right over here, we have anything I use that's dealing with editing, such as my videos that I like to make for YouTube. Sometimes I like to put my own music on my videos. I might use GarageBand for that. Uh, when I edit it, I might use uh, Motion or Final Cut Pro or iMovie. And when I'm recording, let's just say hmm, a YouTube video like what I'm doing now, tutorial, I use ScreenFlow. So they stay right here. You know, I don't move those. Another space coming over, let's just say. If I was going to add some photos in the video that I just put up on YouTube, or let's just say I made a beat and I created a video, which I tend to do a lot. If I want to make some cool photos or whatever, I would use Adobe Photoshop Elements or a CS5 or something like that or whatever or Aperture. But for right now, I just have Elements and Aperture right here because I'm still in the process of learning how to work CS5 because it's, it's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So. I mean, me being Big B Productions 100, I'm still in the process of being on YouTube looking at tutorials myself. So if it's anybody anybody out there that know how to use CS5 and you got a lot of videos up, send them my way so I can check out your videos. So coming over to the right of that, we got another space. So we have iTunes, we have uTorrent and Views. Now, iTunes, uTorrent and Views, these are my movie players. I tend to use these a lot when I download movies off the Internet. After I download the movie, I like to check it out to make sure everything is okay with the file, such as the words. It's synced up. Well, the audio is synced up with the picture itself and all of that. Once I download it and I play it in iTunes, I tend to keep three, these three right here, you know, side by side. We have another space. Coming over here, we have two applications dealing with getting information, you know, just getting daily information. We have Mixtab in my dictionary. So we keep those two together. Coming over to the side of that, we have my address book, yellow pages, and whistle phone. Of course, when I need to make some phone calls or whatever, or let's just say I need to call a store and I don't have that number, 
I can use yellow pages. Once I save that number, I can save it in my address book. And coming over to the right side of that, we have downloads, documents, and trash. Now, I know you probably said, okay, well, where's your applications folder? Well, I don't need that because we have Launchpad now. Well, let's just say if I didn't want to use Launchpad, I can just use Alfred and type it in. Or most of the time, I could just go to that location and get it or use Spotlight if I want to. So I don't keep my application folder right there. I just use my Launchpad or either I just use Alfred to launch my different applications and stuff like that. Most of the time, I just use Alfred because I think it's much easier to just command, command and type in the first letter or second letter or whatever it is I'm looking for and it'll pop right up. So uh, this your boy, Big B Productions 100. I hope you guys liked the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please, I appreciate it. I appreciate the feedback, everything. So uh, I'll let you.